it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and it's <laughs> I haven't filmed here like in this setup in so long but I what do I do you know but okay we're gonna we're gonna ace this we're gonna get an A in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be testing a TikTok makeup trend and this specific TikTok makeup trend is the NYX professional makeup shine loud pro pigment lip shine i've seen these basically um one side is the lip pigment or the lipstick and the other side is the shine and the big thing about this product is that it's transfer proof as you know we are living in a world where we are wearing masks all the time mask up so you know it's been hard to find like lipsticks that will not transfer or literally make you just look crazy i literally wore a brown lipstick and i looked like burgundy like all around it wasn't pleasant um but we're gonna put these to the test today so i have four shades right here i have global citizen i have goal crusher um never basic and goal getter so these are the shades that I have, and these are the shades that I'm going to try out today. So if you guys want to see if these are worth the hype, then please keep watching. I'm not too sure if I mentioned this in my intro, but these do retail for $11.50, which I thought was like, huh, okay, um, I'm not too sure, but I mean, you're getting like a two-in-one product, like you don't need a separate lip gloss, like it's there, so I don't know. Oh my god, I need to have makeup wipes, huh? That would be smart. Hold on. <laughs> They're really good wipes from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Just saying, if you guys want to haul, let me know. So, I'm going to kind of go, like, lightest to deepest. I don't know why. But I'm going to do the shade Global Citizen first. But I wouldn't wear this on its own just because I'm, I don't know. I just wouldn't. So, I'm going to use my Elf Retro Paradise Lip Liner. This is a brown lip liner. It's deep brown. I really, really love it. So, I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to apply this in the center. So I'm going to take Global Citizen, so I'm taking the pigment side first, looks like this, the applicator looks nice. Oh, I underestimated this color, hold on. First of all, I could wear this without a lip liner, okay, it's a perfect nude. But first impressions, first thoughts, super soft gliding on so nicely this is such a nice applicator and I didn't even need to go back in oh I love I love I love saw something on TikTok where you have to let this dry for like motion detected at 90 the seconds entrance. which makes sense but like yeah so I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna apply the glossy side which I'm really excited for I'm excited for this entire product but the gloss really gets me because it's supposed to be transfer proof I can kiss eat drink and it's not gonna go anywhere so we're gonna see so I'm gonna go in with the gloss side so we're gonna go ahead and apply it this is so soft on the lips I love these applicators and this shine is incredible. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Like that applicator, was so, these applicators are soft, first of all. But um, I'm kind of scared. So, I don't know. Am I supposed to let it sit? Don't know. So, take my two fingers. I'm going to kiss them. And mwah. And then we're going to see if it transfers, which it normally does. So. Oh, wow. There's nothing there. Yo, that's insane. How did they, like, perfect this formula? Like, that's insane. But I actually really like this color. I didn't need a lip liner. I would wear it. Normally, it's, like, the perfect nude for me, so... I just found my perfect nude in a review, so all things are possible, right? So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off, and then we're going to move on to the next shade. Boom, just like new. I'm so impressed. So next we're going to take the shade Gold Crusher. Now this one scares me. It's peachy. I don't know how I'm going to like it, but 
I'm doing it for the formula and I absolutely love and I'm also just swatching them for you guys so you can get an idea of what these shades look like so I'm gonna go ahead and apply So even before applying the um, lip gloss, this is not a shade that I would wear. Probably a lip liner would look good, but like I do like like the orangish coral eyeshadow with this. Um, it's pretty. I just don't think that I like it on me. But we're testing out the colors and formula, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gloss. I think I messed up that one a little bit because I didn't let it dry because I was impatient. But these are like so amazing. Like the gloss makes it look so much better. Like I'm not minding it. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I could probably pull it off another time like when I really want to. I just don't feel like it right now. But oh my God. Not a damn thing. Nothing. That's insane. That is insane. Like. How do they do this? Okay, so next is the shade Goal Getter. I'm excited for this shade. It's like a pretty burgundy, but it's more on the pinky side. Um, and I'm really, I'm excited to try this. I want to get into colors like this. So I think it'll look good. That's gorgeous. Do y'all see this color? This is gorgeous. I'm gonna let it dry. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I just accidentally looked at myself, but like, this is a pretty shade. Whoa. Wow, I love this color. Goal Getter is a beautiful shade. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gloss to it. Oh. I adore. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> I feel like a Barbie. I feel pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. These shades. <gasps> wow. This is gorgeous. I'm really obsessed right now. I have a new lip product I love. All right, we're gonna move on to the last shade. But this is so pretty, I don't wanna take it off. I guess you guys are gonna see a little bit more like with this shade, cause it's deeper, how it just does not come off. So. Oh my God, like it really just doesn't wanna, you know, it won't move. So that's the good thing, right? That's the promise. And I think it promises also up to 16 hour wear. I could totally see that. Like it doesn't want to come off even like, right, like that's insane. So the last shade that we are going to try today is the shade Never Basic. Because we are never basic. Me trying a basic trend right now. So deep and pretty, oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Mm, I'm letting it dry. <gasps> this is gorgeous. I love this shade. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the lip gloss side. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is insane. Wow. I love. Um, so I'm going to share my final thoughts with you guys right now. My favorite shade. So overall, when I think of these NYX Shine Loud 
products. I really do like them. I think they're a great idea and I think they're really worth it. They're $11.50. I think they're really worth it. They're like a two-in-one and they do not transfer. Like what more could you ask for, especially if you're a lip gloss girl? What more could you ask for, you know? Um, I think these are amazing products. I love the applicators as well. They're super soft and the product doesn't feel heavy like on the lips, doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel too hydrating like it's the perfect formula and the perfect applicators to make for like a perfect product, honestly. So I give these products a yay, I absolutely love them um, and you'll definitely be seeing these again on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did don't forget to like this video and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the NYX Shine Loud uh, lip products let me know if you guys like them if you don't why or why not and what you think of the shades let me know down below and subscribe to my channel for more i definitely plan on doing more tiktok trends on my channel just because i watch tiktok and i see a lot of makeup stuff and i'm like that could be interesting so this is the first of many more to come so i will see you guys in my next one bye Tell me other days I get right, he ain't acting right. Never super bold and teach